That's correct, because it's a way you move from one location to the next. So people can move in pathways, animals can walk in pathways, cars, different objects, bicycles can move in pathways. So that's correct, Sebastian. Can someone give me an example of a different pathway? It could be an object, it could be a number, it can be an animal that's walking in a pathway. Give an example of that. Who can raise their hand and give an answer? Because we don't call out. Kaya, since Kaya's waiting patiently, she can answer. A zigzag, Kaya, so the zigzag, good. What's a, what's a type of zigzag, Kaya? What, what letter in the alphabet is a zigzag? And the W, excellent. Who could give another one? What about a curved pathway? Who would give an example of a curved pathway? Woman, raise her hand. Sebastian. A curved line, a curvy line, correct. So what would you see a curvy line? Would you see it in the park when you're riding your bike around the park and the road's curvy? Good, good. Who can name a, a type of straight pathway? Or what kind of object that you write with is a straight pathway? Yes. An L, correct, because an L goes straight and straight over. So, we're going to do our turn and talk. So when I give you a partner, we're going to talk about not just objects, we're going to talk about how we got to school. So we take different pathways to go to school, right? When Mr. Yu drove here, he drove in a straight path. Then he had to drive in a zigzag to get around traffic. Then he had to drive up the road to Glendale on a curvy path. So we are going to talk with your partner. Once I give you your partner, quietly, we're not going to yell. And we're going to talk about what pathways we took to get to school. Then if you raise your hand nicely, you'll share your answers. Okay? You two may talk. Kyle, you are third. Sebastian, the third. You two may talk. You two. You two. Seven. Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. Hey guys, take about a minute to talk to each other.
to go to the other entrance of the school. So that's an excellent answer. One more. Sebastian, let's have someone else respond, okay? You had a bunch of answers today. What about you, Philip? How did you get to school today? What pathways did you take to get to school today? Do you want to think about it? Okay, who else would like to give an answer? What about you, Pat? Okay, that's fine. So, now we're going to need one demonstrator, because first we're going to work on straight pathways. So, my demonstrator is going to teach the class how to correct you on a straight pathway. So you're going to be helping me with a special helper. Who can be it? Kaya. Can you find a straight pathway and stand on it? Facing Mr. Yu, please. What about right here, Kaya? This one's pretty close to you. Herman, do you mind moving a little over and turning around so you can see Kaya? So you can sit on the other side of the poly spots for now. Okay, so Kaya's going to stand on a poly spot. Good. Now, Kaya's going to stand on one poly spot. So when I call you all to go onto your straight pathways, you're going to find a pathway with an open poly spot, just like Kaya did. And she's going to be facing Mr. Yu because that's the side of her pathway. So that's excellent. So Kaya, when you do your straight pathway, walking along, not on, walking along the straight pathway, your eyes are going to be straight all the time. Because if Kaya turns her head, she's going to lose focus on her pathway. So is Kaya going to turn her head? Yes or no, class? Is Kaya going to turn her head on a straight pathway? No. Her eyes are always looking forward. Good, Always looking forward. So Kaya's going to walk along the tightrope. She's like a gymnast. She's walking along the tightrope with her eyes forward. Kaya, keep looking forward. See how she doesn't turn her eyes? She's always walking forward. Excellent, Kaya. And when she's done, she's going to find another straight pathway. Oh no, there's some clapping going on. Mohammed's doing the right thing. Patrick's doing the right thing. Hmm, let's see which kindergartners are doing the right thing. Stabbing around. Good. So Kaya's going to now walk to a different straight pathway. Let's see if Kaya can find another straight pathway in the classroom. Oh, she found it. Right by Miss T's office. Oh, you almost found it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And she's going to stand on the spot, and she's going to do the same tips that we used in the previous one. She's going to keep her eyes forward at all times. Good, Kaya. Walk the tightrope. On, along, Kaya. So you're walking on, along. Good. So Kaya, can you try one more time? This time I want you to walk along, like if you're on a gym, okay, a gymnast on a tightrope. Good, Kaya. See how she's not falling off? Because she'll fall into the fans. And she might hurt a fan. We don't want to hurt our fans. Our fans are cheering us on. So we want to make them happy. We want to show them a good show. And they want to see you guys walk the tightrope. Because it's very hard. And if you can do it, it's very impressive. Thank you, Kaya. You can have a seat. So when I call your shirt color, or if you have any pictures, I'm going to wait for my direction. You're going to go to a straight pathway. Are we going to curve pathways? Are we going to zigzag pathways? We are going to find an open poly spot on a straight pathway. So if you have a black shirt on, Patrick, thank you, have a black shirt, you can go to a straight pathway and begin walking along your pathways. If you have a red shirt, Patrick, thank you, black. Yes. Yes, that is a straight line. Good job, Sebastian. Begin on the poly spot. If you're wearing a, a sweater, you may go to a straight pathway. So go to a straight pathway. If you're wearing a blue shirt or blue sweater, if you're wearing a white shirt or white sweater, you can go to an open straight pathway. Only straight. Okay, thank you, Elena. If you're wearing a shirt with sleeves, like Mr. Yu, if it has sleeves, you can go to a straight pathway. Is that a straight pathway? Is that a straight pathway? This is a straight pathway? Go to open college spot, right by Sebastian, that's a straight path. Go ahead, Sarah. If you're wearing a pink, if you're wearing a sense shirt with four sleeves, everybody should be walking along their straight pathway. If you're on a different pathway, you have to look at right there. Good, Elena found the letter A. The letter A is made of straight pathways, and she walked along it. No, Elena, that's a curve. Why is that not the right answer, Elena? Hold on, Elena, go back. Why is this not a straight pathway? Why is this not straight? Why do you think it's not straight? Are your eyes going to be forward the whole time as you're walking in different directions? Or is your face going to change? Change, so that means it's not straight. So you have to find a pathway where your face is going straight. You found some students with the letter X, that's good. Jacob, is that a straight pathway? Is your face always going to be forward? Are your eyes always going to be forward if you're turning this way like a hook? What do you think? Can you point to a straight pathway? 
Which pathway only goes straight where your eyes are always going to be forward? What about that one in the corner? Do you think that's straight? So why don't you head on over to that one? Is this turning this way? Is your face going to be? Is your eyes and face going to be forward the whole time as you're turning this way? No. So point to a straight path. Which one is straight? Good. So go to that one. Yes. All right, hold on a second. Red light. Hold on at a red light. Now, you guys are doing a great job. I want you guys to think of yourselves as little monkeys. Okay, we're going to pretend we're monkeys walking across a straight path of trees. Now, hold on. There's a bunch of hungry animals that like to tickle monkeys at the bottom. These animals like to tickle monkeys. So you don't want to be tickled too much. You don't want to keep laughing because you have to stay quiet. So we have to walk along the trees in a straight path, because if we go off the path, we'll fall into the tickle monsters. We don't want that. No. These animals and monsters like to tickle the monkeys. And you don't want to be tickled too much, it starts to get annoying, right? Too much. Too much tickling is no good. So we're going to stay along the straight trees, this quietly. If I hear any leaves rustling, if I hear any rustling of the leaves, if I hear any of that, the tickle monster is going to tickle you. What? So let's be quiet monkeys. If you fall off the trees, the straight path trees, there's, there's, there's a straight line of trees. If you fall off those trees or make noises, the tickle animals at the bottom or the tickle monsters are going to tickle you. So we have to stay quiet. Elena, that's not a straight line. Straight path. Right here. This is a straight path. Remember I showed you? No, Elena. See? You're not listening. You have to come here. You have to start on the poly spots, like I said. Right. Yes.
Because if you want to move along the snail trails, you have to pay attention and not make noise to come back to the classroom. So please have a seat here at the end of the bench, right by Ms. Taub's office. Thank you. So Sebastian's going to stop because Sebastian has to change direction with his face. So he's not going to keep his eyes forward because if Sebastian keeps walking forward, what happens? Keep walking forward this way, Sebastian. He falls off the sunny trail. You have to stay on the snail's trail. The snails work very hard to get these trails for you, kindergartners. So you have to make sure you don't make the snails upset. So he's going to now, hold on, Sebastian, step by step. Now Sebastian faces that way. So he started facing Miss T's office. Now he's facing the corner of the room. And he's going to continue along the curved slimy trail. And now he's facing the water fountain. Do you see that, everyone? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So his face is constantly curving. His eyes and face is curving with the path. Good, Sebastian. Can you show us one more time, nice and slow, so everyone gets a better idea? Good, Sebastian. Now Sebastian's got his eyes forward, and now he's turning along the curve. So his eyes aren't straight forward. They're straight forward in different directions. Thank you, Sebastian. Sebastian, you can, you can start here since you were over here. You can begin. When I, when I say go, when I call you, you're going to find an open curve pathway, and you're going to walk along it. You can begin. Okay, if you write a pink shirt, find a curved pathway. Carla, pink shirts, pink. Pink shirts. Lizzie. Pink shirt, that's pink. If you're wearing a blue shirt or blue sweater, find an open curved pathway and walk along the snail trail. If you're wearing a t-shirt, a shirt without sleeves, cut off to the middle. You may go. If you're wearing a gray shirt, gray like Jacob's shirt, you may go. If you're wearing orange like Mahomet, you can go to a curved pathway. Is that curved? Why is this not curved? I'm not a one. Because your face is always forward. You have to find a curve, a snail trail, that makes it easier to change directions with your eyes. I said pink. You three may go. Pink, you may go. You're on a curved trail now. That's fine. Okay, we're walking along the snail trails. Don't fall off. The snail trails work very hard. If you fall off, you might smudge it. The snails work very hard to make your snail trails. What do you think this is a curve, Sebastian? Why, why do you think, why would this be a curve? This is a curve because? Correct, so what does that mean? What do your eyes do? Remember, Mr. you used you as a demonstrator. What do your eyes do this whole time? That's correct. You watch where you're going, you change direction. It's good. Alina, are you ready to join the class? You've been quiet, so you can come find an open snail trail. Right here is open, this blue one. And show me how you would walk the curve pathway. Good. Does your eyes keep going forward or do they change direction with the curve? Change direction with the curve, exactly. Good, but don't fall off. You're going to upset the snail trail. The snails work very hard to be completely perfect. Don't be smudged. Red light. Everyone sit on the spot. Let's see who's moving. 
about why it's not important to make hissing noises, okay? Think about why we should not do that. Good, Sebastian. Sebastian's moving his eyes along with the curve. He's not staying in one direction the whole time. Good job. Let's see, Gabriella. Let's see. Keep your eyes along the curve. Stop on the end of this path. Right here, that's your line. 
So a zigzag is made of a bunch of straight lines in different pointed directions. It makes a point. That's why it's not a curve. A curve is round. A zigzag is a point. So a zigzag will go straight. It's going to have a point where you stop. Then Elena's going to turn her face, her eyes, and her shoulders in a completely different direction. So Elena's going to do the right thing. She stopped. Now she's going to turn her body towards the next way. We walk. So if you're walking along this path here, Elena, how would you turn? Good. See how her shoulders and eyes are now forwards? Hmm. Kaya, Philip, do I have to move you? Elena, come back to the start, please. You have some students disrupting the class. Because Gabriella's trying to pay attention. Nerman's trying to pay attention. Thank you. Go ahead, uh, uh, Elena. Walk slowly. Good. She turns her body. See that? So Elena, come one more time. She's going to go slower so the class can see. I want you to go a little slower. So once you get to the pin, the tip, you stop. She stops. Now she's going to turn her eyes and shoulders the other way of the pathway. So go ahead, Elena. Good. And she turn, stops, then turns, and continues. Excellent job, Elena. Her body changes direction. So a curve is when your eyes and face just change directions. A zigzag is your whole body changing directions because you have to follow the pathway. So Mr. Yu's walking, walking, stopping. His shoulders and eyes change direction. They change direction, and then you're off the pathway. And then you find another sleeping Z. Okay? Don't mess up these sleeping Zs. The big sleeping the giant told me, if someone messed up my Zs, they got to come see me. You don't want to meet this guy. He's a little mean. The giant sleeper, the sleeping giant with the big Zs, he left the cross, he expects us to treat him well. Alright, everyone? Does everyone understand? Yes! Okay, you may begin finding, if you're in a red shirt, red shirts only, excuse me, red shirts. Find a big Z. Gray shirts, big Z. Blue shirts, gray shirts. Orange shirts, has a negro, black. Black shirts, pink shirts, find a big Z.
And then he's going to turn and face his shoulders and face at the same way. So go ahead, Sebastian. Turn the pillar direction. Sorry, but that like knocked me out. He stops. <laughs> then he turns. Good, Sebastian. Can you go back now? Watch Sebastian. He's going to go foot together, foot together. He stops. So he's going to stop right here. Now, Sebastian, turn and face Mr. Yu. And continue. Foot together, foot together. So just as you're going sideways, you still have to shift your body. See that, how he shifts his body? He starts from here. Stops, shifts his shoulders and eyes, stops, shifts his little shoulders and eyes, and continues along. So great job, Sebastian. Sebastian, you could have stayed there. That's okay, you can continue. When you, if you have a purple shirt on or a pink shirt, you may go to a sleeping Z, a giant sleeping Z, and go sideways. Journey, sideways, sideways. Put together, put together. If you wear a gray shirt like Jacob over here, black shirt, blue shirt, pink shirt, orange shirt, White shirts. Find an open sleeping tee. And don't mess it up. The sleeping giant told me to look into the lookout. Okay, wait for someone to come back here. Jacob, what are my monitors? 
it. No more monitors. If you're wearing a blue shirt and you're not a monitor, get a gray one. Sit down around the yellow circle. Monitors, don't forget, you're going to pile them on top of the blue.
Thank <laughs> you. 